All right, so if you guys didn't know, Fortnite has officially released the brand new vending machine items within the Fortnite map, and there's a shit ton of them, all right? There's a rare, epic, common, legendary. There's a bunch of variants. Um, it's basically different vending machines, or it's essentially the same vending machine, but they'll carry different variants of weapons, and it all depends uh, where you are. Now, the spawns are not always going to be there. The spawns are fixed. Just so you guys know, the way you want to think about these vending machines are, think of them as chest. The chest have a fixed location, but they don't always spawn in that location. So sometimes you go to Salty Springs and you'll see a chest at the gas station. Sometimes you'll go there and there will not be a chest. The vending machines are not to be confused with the llamas. The llamas are absolutely random. They will spawn on top of a tree, on top of the battle bus. No, not really. They don't go on top of the battle bus. I'm just talking shit. Vending machines are just the equivalent of chest, but a little bit more helpful for the trade-off of some materials. We thought at first that they were going to be only wood, but it seems like there's three categories, wood, metal, and brick. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably know, but just in case you didn't know, if you want to swap through the, through the items that it has, make sure you just use the pickaxe and it cycles quicker. The vending machines cannot be broken. If you missed my gameplay, I came across a couple of them, even legendary. I'll leave the gameplay down in the description. We got a 14 kill W, which was really cool. First, game of the day and um yeah they cannot be destroyed so you cannot destroy them at all which is kind of crazy if you ask me but hey in this video we're going to be discussing and bringing you guys a gameplay of course but we're going to be discussing first all the locations right now in fortnite that have the chest i believe <clears throat> now i got this from the now i got this from the fortnite intel page and i actually added some of my own that they were missing because it was not completely updated we might be missing a handful but i am pretty sure we got a ton of them and this is obviously going to help you guys for whenever you decide where it is that you want to land in a specific gameplay or a gameplay lobby you already know where to go to get the best chances of getting a vending machine now keep in mind please if you go by this chart or this map here with the locations and you do not find the vending machine, it just means it did not spawn in that lobby. It doesn't mean that it's not there. So you might actually spawn in a lobby now and it's not there. It doesn't mean the next time you go, it will not be there. So just keep that in mind. Again, they work just like chests. Here on screen, I'm going to share with you guys the map of all of the locations right now. And um, as you can see, the yellow ones were done by the Fortnite Intel page, so credit to them. And then, of course, the orange ones were the ones that I found either through me finding them or pictures that you guys sent me via Twitter. And I have actually put them in this map just to give you guys a better idea and, and just more options for you guys to go different places. Now, keep in mind, I'm pretty sure there's a good amount more left here. Um, but obviously there's just so many that it's impossible to cover all in one day unless you spend your entire day just focus on this. Now we actually got ourselves by this four die map. If you were to ask me what is the best location to go to to get these vending machines and you're obviously get the best chances of getting them, I would honestly have to say the following. As you can see, Retail Row has two of them. Tilted Towers, of course, has two of them. Pleasant Park. So obviously like the big locations, the big areas, the popular areas are the ones that are going to have probably multiple uh, vending machines. But right now, Retail Row, Tilted Towers, and Pleasant Park. To my surprise, there's actually a decent amount as well at the south side of the Fortnite map. As you can see, Lucky Landing has one. Um, I've heard from a lot of people that towards the east side of Lucky Landing, there's also another one. But I went there myself. I didn't see it. So I didn't want to give you guys some misinformation without me seeing it personally. So I did not pinpoint it in this map. As well as Flush Factory has one. And then, of course, right above Flush Factory to the right and the right above it as well there's one there so all around the map honestly they're pretty spread out there's supposed to be also one at haunted hills and at snobby shores but again i haven't seen those yet i, I tried spawning a bunch of times but just keep that in mind and um i hope this chart helps you guys let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the vending machines? Do you guys think that they're overpowered? Do you think that they're well put out? I honestly think they're not that bad. I thought they were going to be worse. And I've only seen one legendary. And I haven't seen a lot of people come across legendaries. I saw one legendary. And um, it's my last video. If you guys haven't seen it again, go check it out. And then after that, I saw a common, a rare, and an epic. So I think they're okay. I wish that maybe that once you got it, that maybe you would be able to like destroy it. Or it would just dispense itself and go away. Kind of like a chest or a llama. Because I feel like... Just not being able to destroy them is kind of crazy. Maybe if you could destroy them by shooting it, like the pickaxe would be used to uh, cycle through the items quicker or and then shooting it would destroy it. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Just so it could kind of not take away so much from the whole harvesting and, and scavenging for materials and weapons of the game, which is what makes Battle Royale special. But here you go. Hope this helped. I'm going to leave you guys with the gameplay that I won. I don't know how. At the end, I was fooling with the guy trying to do stupid shit. And because I knew I had the game won, uh, but... It ended in a really stupid way. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Leave me a like if you found this helpful. Share with your friends. And uh, yeah, enjoy the vending machines. Catch you guys on the next video.
stay hidden and gather wood at the same time. Not a bad idea. Okay. Sweet. Dude, where's a llama when you need one, huh? They're making you really harvest wood now. It's like they're forcing you to start a harvesting. You want weapons? You need to get the point of the game, man. And the point of the game is that you need to start harvesting wood. See that pole right there? That's where the vending machine was. I'm wondering if wherever there's a pole like that, there's a vending machine, which would make a lot of sense. Oh, there's a llama. <laughs> we just found a llama, dude. You find a llama. Find a llama. And use the vending machine. Llama plus vending machine is babe. This might be a trap. Oh my goodness. This is insane. This is insane. All right. Come on, we gotta find a vending machine here, somewhere. Anarchy Acres, Fatal Fields, the farms. Those are the lands of the, of the vending machines. Come on, we got this. All right, there's somebody there, I think. Damn, I feel like a boss right now. Totally feel like a boss right now, swear to God. I feel good, bro. Damn. It's doomsday for you, bro. Hmm. <clears throat> no damn freaking vending machine, I see. All right, there's a guy gliding over there. There we go. I know there was some dude here. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Them kicks were fast as lightning.
trapped myself in the forest. Forest storm and I still won. What an idiot.